one of the problems that Devin Singletary may face as the running back here in Buffalo is the same situation we have with Sonny Michel, where vulturing goal line opportunities, very easy to have happen to you with Cam Newton, with Josh Allen. Last year, well, Devin Singletary... may not even get him. That, that's it. Like, I mean, he, he didn't get he, him last year. He didn't yeah, get him. Yeah, he may not be on the field to get them. Last year, Devin Singletary had three carries inside of the 10, and they all came in one game. Now, he scored. <laughs> like... I don't know why they decided to go away from him. Meanwhile, Frank Gore last year, 18 carries inside the 10 and produced two rushing touchdowns from there uh, on, on those those carries, but they just kept going to Frank Gore. So I think that's that will be a problem for Devin Singletary and his ceiling because Zach Moss, he can play that role. It, a lot is being said of the Bills want Zach Moss to play the Frank Gore role. And the way I read into that more is that Zach Moss will be the goal line running back. Singletary is he's one of those players that might be really annoying to own. He's because, gonna be like Philip Lindsay. Yeah, there's there's a category of players where they're on the field and it's like first and ten from the eighteen. And you know if Singletary doesn't score on this next run, he may be off the field. And unfortunately that is just you know, for he's a fourth round pick right now. He's RB twenty three. They say they want to involve him in the passing game more, but that can be a really annoying fantasy player. Yeah, I, look, if they gave him the opportunities, he would score. I remember scouting him in college, and I I, I I wrote down that I think he would be an awesome goal line back, which is so weird because he's a tiny, undersized, two hundred pound guy. But I I I was I wrote down, man, I'm going to draft him super high if he goes to the Saints or the Patriots, a team that will see that and utilize him there. I, I think if he gets the opportunity, he'll crush. So there is upside there. Sure. But I think all three of us project him to not get the opportunity. And so if you're not really a pass-catching back and you're not getting goal line, it doesn't matter how good you are. He's going to be great between the 20s and at the end of the day going to disappoint your fantasy roster unless they give him the goal line he deserves. And I don't think Zach Moss is good enough to – well, have that role. And if you're in on Zach Moss, just so you have uh, context, games with Devin Singletary, Frank Gore averaged about 11 opportunities per game. So if you're if he is in that role, like that's maybe if you throw in the goal line, that maybe Zach Moss has value. But I think he's going to be a running back that if you don't get a touchdown, you got a really bad fantasy day. The tough part about Buffalo is I think they're going to be a really good team. I think sure. they're a, a top 10 NFL team, and here you have their number, you know, the highest running back in fantasy drafts going at RB23. And so there is, to Jason's point, there is upside if things go the right way. If they do involve Singletary in the passing game more, if he gets to split those goal line opportunities with the Zach Moss to keep defenses on their toes, that would be, you know, you're going to have a guy that finishes above RB23, but there's just more risk. I like running backs on great teams. I like running backs on teams that are going to move the football. Get Zooks! You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button.